So today we're going to be talking about calories and the key to weight change. So I'm sure most of you listening to this will have heard about calories before, but potentially don't actually know what calorie is. So we're going to have a look into that. We're going to look at where calories come from, calories in, the calories out, why every day doesn't need to be a dieting day, and why does dieting success slow down, and what you can do about it. So these sections are going to be relatively long because of the importance of understanding this idea of calories. Now, that's not to say that you have to count calories for the rest of your life, not at all. And later on in the course, we're going to provide you with a number of options that you can implement when it comes to your dieting strategy. However, this important understanding of calories in, calories out is paramount. So calories are a term that get thrown around quite often, and I'm sure anyone that's read any kind of dieting book, dieting um, articles, um, magazines, etc., will have heard the term calorie, but they may be slightly unsure on what a calorie is. So a calorie is actually the amount of energy needed to heat one litre of water one degree Celsius. And so basically it's just the amount of energy or a unit of energy. And whilst food has different caloric values and may act differently within the body, a calorie is still a calorie. And we're going to explain this more and more as we go through this course when we're looking at this calories in, calories out model. But very briefly, carbohydrates have four calories per gram. Protein has the same. Fat, nine calories per gram. And the fourth energy um, store or fourth source of energy that we often neglect is alcohol and that's seven calories per gram we have a whole talk on this later on so we're going to see this seesaw a little bit and this is kind of representing our calories in v calories out model and this would be something that we call maintenance or weight stable so this is where our calories in matches our calories out and if we could maintain this we would manage to maintain our weight now that said that doesn't mean that we maintain a healthy weight, it just means that we maintain weight. So if we were eating 10,000 calories a day, and we were expending 10,000 calories, we would be weight stable. If we're eating 2,000 calories a day and expending 2,000 calories a day, we'd be weight stable. And we're going to go into far more detail for the rest of this course, actually what entails your calories in and what are the components of your calories out. So throughout the course, you're going to see a number of graphs that look like this. And so this is my representation of maintaining weight, but we're also going to look at it for calorie, uh, for losing weight and gaining weight. So when we come to calories in, we always want to look at our weekly average. It is not just about a singular day or um, you know a couple of days. So this individual here, the red dotted line, is their calories that they require to maintain their weight, the calories they need to put in to maintain their weight. So it's 2,500 calories per day over the course of seven days, which gives them a weekly requirement of 17,500 calories. So the black bars are our intake, so how many calories they actually eat. And as you can see, the amount of calories they eat is 2,500, the amount of calories they need, which is the red dot, is also 2,500. Therefore, calories out matches calories in. And in this instance, you will remain weight stable. and You will have very relatively little change in body weight. So, just to reiterate, whenever we see the dotted red line, that is a representation of our calories out, while the solid black bars are a representation of our calories in. And we're going to explore this relationship more throughout the rest of the course.